Okay, thank you. Um, I'm here. I'll talk. Tell, uh, excuse me. Tell you about a quadrant model that I developed to assess undersea marine research infrastructure. Um, my interest is in the undersea tools that the federal government provides to marine scientists uh, to collect their data and the factors that influence the success or failure of the programs that provide those tools. Uh, this slide is from a recent Ocean Studies Board assessment, and it really demonstrates the complexity of these types of assessment, the number of factors, the interaction between all those factors. But one thing it does that, I, that it doesn't do um, that I've seen throughout my career is really capture the societal aspects, the political impacts, the personal decisions that really do impact that funding. And so my solution was to devise a simple four-quadrant uh, model where you look at the technical, operational, functional factors, really the science, um, and the societal factors. And this is laid on the axes that really, so you can look at this from a local activity aspect to more of a, a back out and look back in from an enterprise level consideration. Uh, so then I tested the model. I chose uh, human-occupied research submersibles as my test topic. There are four of those operations that have been working in the U.S. since the mid-1980s. Uh, the first task was to identify different factors within each one of those quadrants that I would look into in more detail and also to come up with a way to illustrate those. So in this chart, you'll see the circles. The size of the circle will illustrate the, the importance of a certain factor, and then the color tells you whether it's, it's positive or negative type of an impact. And so I used um, iterative process really to go through each one of those um, uh, case studies, and I compared case studies to each other. And this is an example of what one of those case studies would look like. What it does, it really enables you to look at the trends and come up with conclusions based on the dynamics that you see through that analysis. And here are some of the highlights that uh, came out during that analysis. So, for example, for technology, I was able to identify some of the technologies that are really changing the way you use the, those pieces of equipment. The thing that really popped out was the importance of societal impacts. That really popped out as an important thing consistently throughout the studies. So, in conclusion, the, the uh, results of the model, it does provide a simple framework uh, that, that enables you to capture the full range of factors and also really manage that complexity. You know, you're able to parse it all out and come up with identifying trends, look at causality, and analyze some of the societal impacts. And it's also useful for a number of different fields. There's an academic analysis, federal program analysis, and consideration, operators' considerations. Thank you.